Welcome to Session 8 of the Fractions, Decimals, and Percents mini-course. This session finishes the mini-course by connecting fractions, decimals, and percents. The objectives of this session are to celebrate the accomplishments and learning of the participants in the class, to use the number strips and Cuisinair rods as manipulatives for illustrating percent concepts, and to reinforce the relationship between fractions, decimals, and percents. Finally, we will introduce participants to the NCTM Connections Standard. Welcome. Thank you all for coming out for our last and final session, session eight. Okay. Tonight, we will still be revisiting, we will visit percents, and we're going to look at how they relate to fractions and decimals. Okay. Around the room, we have a couple of uh, posters put up. If you had fun, I see you've added comments. If you still would like to add a comment, you're more than welcome to. We have I interacted with my children. And if you learned anything in math, if you please post a comment. Okay, we're reviewing the top 10 tips for parents. We're reviewing the top 10 tips for parents. It was BLM 45 from your uh, last session, session seven. Did anyone, would anyone like to comment on the top 10 tips Number one, there is nothing, nothing to fear but fear itself. Would anyone like to comment on that one? Would anyone like to comment on any of the top 10 tips? Um, I think that's very important because um, like it says, problem solving is a lifetime skill, not just in mathematics, but um, in life itself. So I think that's a very important skill for them to, to learn. Okay. Thank you. Would anyone else like to comment on any of the tips? I will, Michelle. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, number five, make fun with math. Oh, Just, okay. um, I think we, we all do this anyway, especially around this season with board games. Um, it might be a tradition in your family. But that's a starting point. That's one way that you can have those discussions about math in a non-threatening way. Uh, we just discovered that AJ likes Monopoly, so that's one, one way we can incorporate math. Okay, the standard for this session is one of NCTM's process standards. It is called the Connection Standard, and it states, instructional programs from pre-kindergarten through 12th grade through grade 12 should enable students to recognize and use connections among mathematical ideas and understand how mathematical ideas interconnect and build on one another to produce a coherent whole. This can be found at nctm.org. Okay. At your desk, you have a fraction strip. You have a fraction strip. You can go ahead and cut out and label it using in percents. You're going to label it with percents the same way that you label your decimal strip and your fraction strip. Okay, it should be your very first page. Okay, we have Tamara and Manaya. They're gonna tell us how to label the percent strip. Okay, tell us what you did, ladies. We labeled by the team. Okay, tell us what you did all the way up. Okay, can I see one of your strips, please? Okay, I'm gonna, I have Miss Taylor's, I have Miss Taylor's uh, decimals, fractions, and decimal strip from a previous session. I'm going to line it up with the fractions. You can line it up with the fractions. I need you to look and see, try to figure out which fractions and percents are closely related. Which ones are closely related? Okay. Does anyone see one yet? What you thinking, Xander? 
You have 70% is closely related to which? Seven what? Seven tenths, okay? Xander said that seven tenths is closely related to 70%. All right, Chance, you have one? 50% okay. is one half. Okay, 50% is one half. That is correct. 50% is one half, okay? When you're in the store shopping over the, over, uh, the holidays, if you see a 50% off tag, what does that 50% mean? You're going to be half off. Half off. If you're lucky, you're going to have a coupon that says extra off that too. Okay? All right? So we're looking for percent. The higher the percent, that means the better the what? The better the back, better the deal, better the discount. Okay? Does anyone see anything else? Okay, you just say it a little bit louder. 30 is related to 3 tenths. Okay, 30 percent is related to 3 tenths. Good. And Chance, one more. Good. Chance said that 75 percent is closely related to 3 fourths. So he moved his all the way over. Okay, good job. Good job. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Okay, could these strips help you change a percent into a decimal? Could these strips help you change a percent into a decimal? Okay, what if you have, what if you have 30%? What if you have 30%? What decimal is 30%? What decimal is 30%? Standard. Is 0 0.3. Good job. Is there any other way that we could say 0 0.3? Three we say 3 tenths. Is there another way that we can say 0 0.3 or 3 tenths? Kyler? It is 30%. Good. Is there another way? 30. 30. It is 30 cents. 30. 30, 30, it'd be 30 hundreds, okay? It'd be 30 hundreds, okay? Okay, what if you had 70%? What if you had 70%? What decimal would that represent, Kyle? It represents 0 0.7. Is there another, good job. Is there another way we could say it, Xander and Chance? Seven tenths or seventy hundreds. Okay, good job. All right, at your table you have cues and their rod puzzles. You have the rod. You have your rods at your table and in your packet. Turn to BLM forty nine. Turn to BLM forty nine. Tonight we're going to find percents. We're going to find a percent of something. Okay, we'll do number one together. You're going to need an orange and a red rod. You need an orange and a red rod. <laughs> okay. Your orange rod will be 100%. Your orange rod will be 100%. You have to figure out what percent would the red be if the orange rod is 100%. Okay? You all take a couple of minutes and work with your partners and your families. And we'll have someone come up and discuss it. I need you to look and see, try to figure out which fractions and percents are closely related. Which ones are closely related? Okay? Does anyone see one yet? What you think is Amber? 7%. You have 70% is closely related to which?